Hey guys, today I'm doing my first shrooms trip alone. I have not done shrooms once alone, so I'm a bit nervous, but I'm positive that I'm going to have a good trip. On my previous trips, I would always trip with my friends and we'd always have a good time and everything, but I was always distracted from my thoughts. I was always distracted from actually self-reflecting and I feel like I need a journey that really helps me reflect down deep into myself. Even though I'm doing a low dose, three and a half grams, I need this self-reflection and this period to help me through this time where I'm struggling with not being able to see my good friends, not really being able to see my girlfriend because of the whole quarantine and the shelter in place that's going on. The first week or so, this is day eight of quarantine. The first week I really was struggling with depression and I had no motivation, but now I'm here. And the last couple days I've felt motivated. I prepared for this trip. I planned it a few days ahead of time, even though it was a little bit impromptu. I just really need to take advantage of the opportunities that I do have at home. Use this time to take advantage of your opportunities. Use this time as self-reflection, self-improvement. I just started getting into reading self-improvement books the last couple days. I've done a morning meditation, a night meditation. I've been checking in on my friends a few times. It's, it's just nice to keep in touch with people and just make sure everything's all right. Take care of yourself because if you're not gonna take care of yourself in a time like this or take advantage of your opportunities, you're just going to feel depressed. The trick to staying positive really is just to be grateful and appreciative of everything that's actually in your life. Do something productive, most importantly. Do something that will make you feel good. Anyways, I'm going to continue forward here and let you guys know what I experience after this is all over. Thank you. So I'm climaxing, laying down, just enjoying myself right here. And technology is so fucking weird. Technology is so weird. But um, I just look weird. Anyways, I'm feeling good. I've had this positive ass vibe the entire trip. Just, I just feel so positive. Damn. This is just such a beautiful experience. I want people to know what I'm seeing. I've been talking to myself half the time, but sometimes you have to actually learn to be with yourself and learn to enjoy being with yourself. But to enjoy being with yourself and people don't people don't enjoy that enough. They worry about other people. They worry about other things. Materialistic things like money. Which is understandable. But Sometimes you have to ground yourself and relax. Tell yourself that everything's going to be okay. That nothing in life is permanent. Things change. And that goes for anything. I'm just looking at the clouds right now. I forgot that I was even tripping in the first place. And then I look at the clouds and I see like, I imagine like a, an 80s disco dude with an afro 
please. I don't know why I'm imagining that, but I kind of got off topic. I'm not sure how I'm going to cut any of this or edit it, but anyways, this experience is just positive. You can't look at life as a bad thing. Sometimes people aren't grateful enough for what they have. They're not grateful enough for what they're experiencing. For the people that they have in their lives. Because they worry too much. For something like the coronavirus, it, it makes people worry. But sometimes you can't, you can't fear that. You have to get out of nature and you have to ground yourself and tell yourself, it's not going to affect you. Just listening to the sounds, listening to the sounds of nature Listen to the wind go by. I'm not sure why I'm recording. I've been recording for six minutes. So, the after. My trip started at around 10 in the morning. I felt the onsets really quickly. I had a heavy body load. My body was numb. I felt lightheaded and just slightly nauseous. Temperature changes, sweat, and I and just sensitive to thirst in general. I felt like I needed to drink a bunch of water from my hydro flask. But once the trip settled in, it became really, really beautiful. And having a positive experience really depends on three factors. It depends on set, setting, and mood. And the way I set up my mood to have a good experience was by preparing myself with healthy meals. I was stretching, meditating, exercising, trying to sleep well. I also detoxed from weed for about a week. Visuals became more enhanced. Baby green on the trees was in the process of early spring. The mountainside just looked like a two-dimensional poster. The color green and the color gray were really saturated. My visuals began to make out smiles on the trees, on the branches, on the tree trunks, just smiling faces that were pretty much everywhere I looked. It's hard to describe what I was seeing. You would have to really experience yourself. And then I saw patterns on the lining of the trees. Just the tree trunks had this oozing effect. It looked like it was almost melting. Once I got near the top, I had a clear view of my home. I saw the rolling green hills and the green grass everywhere. And it was just so beautiful, I felt so grateful to live in this area so grateful i had this nature's area that i can come to whenever i want to relieve my stress and i just felt so grateful i started to climax as this song called jungle by Taj sultana came out oh my god it was so beautiful so beautiful it completely changed my trip and i just feel like the world has ways of bringing joy and prosperity to people that's just non-coincidental really was not a coincidence that this song came on right when i needed that rejuvenation and that inspiration and that motivation to get up and push myself to go further then i made my way up past this spot the last spot that i tripped at with my friends and there was this gigantic hill that i swear looked like it was completely vertical because shrooms just has this way of completely distorting depth perception which can be kind of scary in a way but as long as you know where you're going it's safe there's a trailhead that marked the boundary at the top and i told myself maybe i shouldn't go up there but at the same time i was like 
Okay, look. You really didn't just come up all the way up here to chip on shrooms just to say, nah, I'm not gonna go past this boundary. Who's going to know? So lo and behold, I went up the boundary and as I started to clear the top, I ran into this beautiful green meadow and the meadow was just so majestic. This meadow just had green, purple, yellow colors everywhere from all the blooming plants and there was this wall that I looked at that I thought was the weirdest looking thing while I was tripping. And I decided to walk around. I walked around, I explored this big meadow. I started walking towards this cliff side and I look over and I see this beautiful view of the city that I live in and this beautiful view of the mountainside. And all of a sudden a huge wind gust comes by and I just stand there and I listen and you can just hear the beauty and the nature and the sounds of mother nature through the wind. And as you turn your head different directions, you can hear different sounds of the wind, which is crazy. On top of that, later in my climax, I decided to lay down. I lay down, I looked at the sky, I looked at the clouds and I see just monkeys, I see the Buddha himself, I, I see these 80s looking disco dudes with afros and after that I decided to self-reflect and I thought really deep into my conscience just self-reflected and felt grateful for the people in my life I felt grateful for my family I felt grateful for my girlfriend my dog my friends it taught me this lesson that I don't need nobody but myself. That happiness and peace starts with yourself and that if you rely on other people for your happiness, you're not going to be happy. I used to always beat myself up about not doing enough, not accomplishing enough, not being committed enough to forming goals and following them. Yeah, I would never do anything about it. And the worst part is that I would always be consciously aware of the time that I gave into my addictions of laziness and proceeded to not do anything productive. I accept now that it must change and the fact that I am in control of most outcomes in my life and I had the power to do anything as long as I put my mind to it. I had the power to change the psychedelic community as well as change the way people think about psychedelics. People need to realize that the true power is harnessed by themselves and you see too many people who give up on their goals, ambitions, ideas, and most importantly, themselves. When people give up on themselves, they essentially give up on the people they love the most, and they give up on any chance of ever changing a culture or being a leader. I also accept the fact that there are many things that I'm not in control of, and that I gotta let go. I gotta let go of any subconscious blockages that are impeding me from being successful. I gotta truly come into terms with my emotions while on a psychedelic journey by myself so I can be allowed to feel in peace. It allowed me to come into terms with the fact that happiness and peace comes from within. I used to feel reliant on people for my mental health, but what I realized is that friends definitely improve mental health, but you can't be dependent on their energy to be happy. Positive energy starts with yourself and is contagious when around other people who are willing to accept your positive energy. Our souls crave positive energy, but when our souls become reliant on external factors such as drugs, sex, money, and people, our souls are only temporarily satisfied and end up craving more of these external factors in return. It's hailing. This is crazy. 